Bethlehem Lana was born and raised in Ethiopia. I produce high-end products, branded products from Ethiopia to support the community uh, who doesn't have any opportunity to work uh, and to give uh, inspiration and dignity also because I see people around me with no opportunity but with lots of talent and material around us. So that's what I do. That's what I do. Well, the idea was here for a long time, uh, but I was uh, recycled tire shoe was here for a long time. Eh? People were widely using it. Uh, so I took the idea from there, but I see people working every day with their talent artisans. Uh, like weaving cotton, spinning cotton, that's like a day-to-day -day job for them. So, but they didn't have any benefit of it. So what I did is, I gathered the people and I came up with the idea of making shoes because we already had uh, a culture of recycling, a culture of things, to do things by hand. So I gave an opportunity or I empower the artists that we have here in Ethiopia. And basically nowadays creative industries really getting big. So entrepreneurs, uh, especially social entrepreneurs, enterprises are getting awards for what they are doing because it's not only business that we do, but we support community also in different ways. The first one is we pay uh, four or five times when we compare it with other people, our, our salary is really good. Um, the other thing that we do is, I mean, we support them, we empower them in any way that they want, that's the point. I consider, I don't consider myself, I'm just working, I'm an entrepreneur, um, I create this. But uh, actually I want the social entrepreneur for Shops Foundation by World Economic Forum last week. So that means I am in social entrepreneur group. Because I, I, I'm I not only benefiting myself, but, but I benefit other people also. Basically, we do have 75 full-time workers. We're going to add in the next few weeks, maybe 25, another 25. So we're going to be like 100 workers. And in the supply chain, we do have uh, 200 people. So more than 300 people again. Uh, benefiting from soil rubs. We're going to hire another 300 people to the company and we want to penetrate more markets and open our own branded stores in different channels in different countries. That's our aim. And to bring in you know, more money to the company also. Basically, um, Success for me is to be able to have an idea and that idea becomes a real business. That's a success. You start at least your business. That's a success. That's the, 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 the risk that you are going to take. And that's it. Once you're in it, you're in it. So you get to take it all the way. At first, having an idea and take it to the business level and this level is by itself. It's a success for me, especially when I'm from Ethiopia. If you're passionate for what you're doing, you're going to be successful. It's about, um, I don't know, getting inspired by people and have a passion. Be positive all the time. So, you know, I like challenges. I love challenges. So that's why I'm an entrepreneur. It's not easy for me to build a branch like Sorabit from here, uh, Ethiopia. And it's just a start to me. People calling it it's a success, but we're not there yet. We're not even halfway. We just started. So we do have a long way to go, but the, the success is coming. We're not, we're not saying we're successful. You guys are saying that <laughs> because you see, build a brand, have uh, this kind of product, recruiting people, be competitive, 
and the way we're doing business is different than the other African companies. So that's something special that we do. We're a pioneer of lots of things here in Africa. First of all, we build a brand from scratch. The second thing is we launch on online. So we interact with individual customers that we have. So, I mean, it's just a start. Uh, when we establish the business, we start right away e-commerce. Without that, we are not able to uh, reach out to people. We cannot send emails, we cannot receive payments, we cannot talk with any, anybody, so it's going to be hard. If we don't have the access of internet, we're not going to be in this position. I'm not able to talk to you <laughs> if we don't have that access. Uh, so basically, uh, we're using uh, the existing thing right here and then to, to use it properly, just like you guys do. So that's the point. Day one, starting from day one. Exactly, having an idea and implement, start working around your idea is a big thing. So if your idea is big, without having lots of money, you can succeed just like me. I didn't have a lot of money when I started the company. I had a small amount of money and I started with five people. Now we do have like 300 people working for us. So you can imagine what we can do in five years. Uh, that was a part part, recruiting people and have a strong team to back you up with a lot of work. It's not only ideas, but you have to choose people who does what and make sure that you have got the right people in the right place, then you're going to be successful. So to put that, that team takes lots of time, like uh, two, three years. The way we're doing it is uh, we're open for everything. Uh, we treat each other like a family. After all, it's a business. Sometimes we maybe be hard uh, when it comes to quality. But we give the training for our people every time. What that means a quality is for the people to get focused in what they are doing otherwise we don't have anything to talk to 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 offer for the world to make this thing to do not work we don't have anything really so we have to be uh, uh, the best in what we do which is quality comfortable and really nice material. so high products for here that's what we can offer so if people try to place that up, I don't think we're gonna we can accept that. But we put it in the nice way by doing like trains, why it's important to be part of the products and why why it's important to put it like this and to try to sell finished products from Ethiopia to different countries. Um, and sometimes when people come you know, I made arrangements to talk to them. Those people are the backbone of my company. So I have to empower them in a way that uh, they feel like they are part of it. Basically, uh, when I'm traveling, when I do things, those people are working hard to make it happen. So the way I see it is, if I benefit from this company, they have to be part of it. I mean, maybe business people doesn't think it, see it like this, but wherever you're going, people, your people are working for you, for your success. Uh, so you have to benefit them somehow, maybe by paying them more money, maybe by being uh, flexible to go to school, to send them to school, maybe by giving them different kinds of trainings, and sometimes maybe throw them a party, have a good time get together we we do that all the time so that's gonna create like really strong team and to see who does what you know even if it's my friend even if like it's my brother working for products we don't see mistakes and we don't allow them to do that mistake again so we establish this kind of team that's a big success for me to have that kind of you know backup team for me. Um, basically yeah, it's, it's a good experience also. If people are saying like, we don't have professionals, we don't have this, we don't have that, but if you give people enough time 
get trained and if you show the, the future, why not? They're going to work because they do have the skill already. You're not giving them anything. Basically, uh, until today, I get inspired by people around me every day. Uh, people here by passing every day. Uh, but I didn't see a lot of change. People are not working, hunting, you know, making things. Nobody's buying their products. So I see lots of hustling, but I don't see any success. But uh, I got inspired by them every day. People around me, the way they solve problems, for example, how they smart they are. But nobody's taking advantage of it and making something like this out of it. Uh, I, I, I believe inside me and you know each and everybody can make difference even if in the company or outside the company and I believe that everybody have got some kind of talent so if we give it a, an opportunity to use that talent uh, I mean we can change things this can happen like so that you cannot imagine I meet people around the world and I like to introduce myself for people. Also the interesting thing about you guys is you're selective. So I really like that and the idea behind 24 minutes is really neat. So uh, I can't say a lot, I can't say more but it's going to give me like a big opportunity to come in to introduce myself for you guys and for your 